Hey everybody, Rob here. It's time for another brand new Pro Revenge Story. Ridiculed, accused of lying and incompetence, I shoved burning facts down their throats and made a successful business in the process. Let's jump right in. Hey, did you know 70% of you guys aren't actually subscribed to the channel? What? Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more daily Reddit stories. Preface. This is a very unusual story compared to the typical posts you've read here. There's a lot to unpack, but I'll try to summarize everything as best I can. I hope you'll find it as entertaining as I did, and what's great about this story is that it happened very recently. It happened here, evidence is searchable, and it's still kind of ongoing. It's a tale of trolls, video game addiction, self-righteous arrogance, harassment, winning an impossible bet, a viral hit in Russia, and massive success with even some little revenge sprinkles for added measure. Quick background about me, I've worked with game developers for decades and I'm an avid researcher and supporter of unorthodox and ethical video games used for educational and clinical purposes. How it started. Two months ago, there was a new Reddit post about using video games to ease depression. That caught my attention. The reason it caught my attention was because it was a game and study that I had in-depth knowledge of from over a year prior. Unlike everyone else in the thread, I was the only one who had actually seen the game, played it, knew the developers, and even had the original technical game design documents. The article discussed a variety of topics but never addressed exactly how the video game was able to ease depression, so I provided a quickly summary of what the game actually did. A quick side note about this article for those that like extra details, one of the cool properties of ketamine is that not only can it provide rapid and temporary relief for depression, it also actively heals damaged brain circuits. Then there's dopamine, a chemical that we internally produce that has similar but less potent effects. There is no cure for depression, but these are promising treatments for some. The article focused on what's called flow, using certain game design methods you can induce a flow state by causing a sustained dopamine release. When used ethically, it can be highly beneficial in stimulating and training the brain to perform certain activities, improve or learn memorization, adapt to challenges, learn new concepts, exercise motor skills, and meanwhile, rebuild pathways and synapses. While all of this is happening, the user is receiving pleasurable rewards without realizing it. This process can create new pathways, repair old circuits, and increasing their neuroplasticity. Increased neuroplasticity means improved cognitive functioning, reducing impairments of the reward process, and improving the effectiveness of antidepressant medications. Video games can be a unique non-drug option to accomplish this while easing symptoms. Research has already shown that many popular games can already accomplish this, unintended effects by the game developers. By comparison, the game design they used in this theoretical study was highly limited in scope, so permanent benefits were negligible compared to the temporary respite brought about by basic dopamine release. Science is still barely scratching the surface of neurotransmitters and flow state. There are still many unknowns. But dopamine isn't just a pleasure chemical that the media would like you to believe, it can do quite a number of things. Research has shown that flow state can modify synaptic plasticity, improve connectors between cells and synapses, ultimately helping cells in the brain communicate better as a network and improve neural system intrinsic properties. My summary posting was fine for a while, until predictable trolls arrived led by an armchair game developer. Dr. Armchair definitely did not appreciate my post. It was an affront and insult to his profession. Within a few minutes, it dropped 30 karma. I don't care about imaginary internet points, but I don't like being accused of lying. Dr. Armchair and his pals started with the usual, do you even lift? Then it was quickly asserted from their armchairs that I knew nothing about flow, psychology, dopamine, or game design at all. From their high horses, they contributed nothing useful, only taunts, defamation, attacking my character and physical appearance, and accusing me of being a liar and incompetence. Apparently, it was a very sensitive topic. Who knew? It quickly devolved into Dr. Armchair gleefully and repeatedly claiming that he won, he was right, 
and I was wrong. He demanded that I essentially write a 300-page peer-reviewed study to prove him wrong. And when it couldn't be provided within five minutes, there were more gleeful cheers of, ha ha, I was right, I was right, I'm not listening to you, la 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 la. Obviously, it was going to be impossible to reason with Dr. Armchair and his buddies, but actions speak louder than words. So, I claimed that I would provide undeniable proof in the form of a video game a few months from now that he could actually play for himself, once again claiming that I was lying and it was impossible. And more of the usual, it's been five minutes, where is it? Oh, you can't do it, can you? Ha, I was right, I beat you, I beat you. It was weird. Eventually, the mods had enough. Dr. Armchair and his cronies harassment, ad hominem attacks, accusations, and inflammatory attacks resulted in multiple posts being removed. But my promise still stood, and I fully intended on keeping it. The bold claim. The plan was simple. Create a proof of concept that demonstrates just the critical neuroscience principles that induce flow. To prove it beyond a doubt, I intended to also prove that most common ingredients of a game are completely unnecessary to accomplish this. So, I made the very confident claim that the game would still be fun, addictive, and demonstrate flow state even after ripping everything out. No extras or frills built within a short period of time. No music, no sound effects, no animations, no story, no expensive art. In fact, hardly any at all. I would use one single art asset for the gameplay, plus some lines. No feature creep, no sign-in system, no gacha mechanics, no level design, no achievements, no RPG gamifications. I could get at least a couple hundred people to play it. I should have also mentioned that it would be built with zero budget and no marketing. If this sounds like a strange way to make a game, it is. For a typical game developer, this would raise many eyebrows, and they'd consider it highly risky or improbable to achieve any success with both arms figuratively tied behind your back while blindfolded. How it ended. While I was preparing to stress test the game online, it was discovered by .ru bots that were scouring the web for new games. Even before the game was ready, they published the game link on several Russian gaming sites. The game exploded. It has graphical similarities to Tetris, so it was a nice coincidence that the game essentially launched and did so well in Russia at first. After that, other game sites started discovering the game on their own too, even before I had a chance to submit the game myself. Most importantly, the proof of concept and everything I claimed worked, high ratings and retention. It proved so effective that the game is currently being played by hundreds of thousands of users worldwide. And it's a clear demonstration about the importance of combining psychology and game design. I suppose you could say that there are many layers of revenge happening here, maybe even karmic justice or backfiring on their part. It's really hard to classify. The best kind of revenge is always massive success and shoving it in their faces, however. But on top of that, I also fully kept to my promises while proving these ignorant individuals so wrong they look like fools. I also added some extra salt to the wound. I figured that success of the game was partly due to Dr. Armchair's ignorance. It was only fair that I included his name within the game credits. So, I officially gave this very wonderful human being a very special thanks for their support in making this success possible. Alright, let's give this game a try. So you move the mouse around and this thing goes across the screen. And, oh, what was that? Oh, hey, look. Ooh, oh, you can pick up pieces. Okay, this is cool. Now what? We just keep moving around looking for more pieces? That's another player. Hmm, oh, oh. Okay then. Okay, let's try this again. So, we gotta go find some pieces. Dun 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 dun. Hey, okay, we got one. Oh, it's in a good spot too. Dun dun. Oh, let's stay away from that guy. That 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 guy looks terrifying. Oh my oh my gosh. I think some people have been playing this game for a very long time. Um, these people might have a little too much time on their hands. I I, I don't know. Maybe. Just a little. 
Is there anything else? Hello? Is there anybody out there? Hmm. Oh, we got another player, but he doesn't have anything. I don't think he knows what's going on. All right, we got we got another one. We're pink and blue. My kids would love this. Let's see. That that's not the most optimal spot, but it'll work. Uh, okay. Down, down. Oh my gosh! Look at that thing. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh! Rip that guy. Uh oh, pieces, more pieces. Num 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 num. Oh 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 oh. Well, okay. Op, it's a great game. I can see how it would be addictive. Not sure about the dopamine thing, but I'll take your word for it because you sound a heck of a lot smarter than I am. I'd like to thank you, Op, for posting your story to the Pro Revenge subreddit, and you can visit Op at the links in the description below. Please go there and give them an upvote. Once again, this is Rob from Karma Comment Chameleon saying thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.